So we're right outside the building and uh, I want to give you a look at the door. Glass is shattered on the ground. A lot of police are here. Some additional officers just arrived in the last few minutes, including the spokesperson for D.C. police. So just about 15 minutes ago, a bunch of us were out here and we watched as the suspect was transported from the building. African-American man looked to be in his 40s. He was conscious and breathing as he was transported into the ambulance and taken away. Uh, so we are still just waiting uh, for some more information about was this man armed? What was his purpose of being here? But I can just tell you a little bit of uh, what happened today as I was coming into work. It was soon after this suspect was shot. It was right around 3.15. And as I drove into the parking lot, a group of coworkers was outside and asked, did I see anything? We think that somebody's trying to get into the building. They said that they heard a loud noise that they thought was a gunshot. And so we all got into our cars and we decided it was best to leave. Sue Palka got into my vehicle and uh, we all just drove off the property. We didn't get too far. I called into the station to see what was going on and, and got the message that it was all clear. At that point, we still didn't know what had happened. My first thought was this was nothing or somebody tried to get in and we figured everything out and, and it was all right. But as we drove around the block, we could hear the sirens and we saw all the police cars that were here. We saw a fire truck arrive. And as we continued to drive around the block here, more first responders came on scene. And so we knew that this wasn't just a case of confusion or some kind of mistaken identity. So it was before I could even walk into the building that I found out that uh, someone here had been shot by a security guard. And uh, not too long after that, I would say, Maybe 10 minutes later, we saw that suspect being transported out of the building. Uh, so uh, the police investigation here is still underway. As I mentioned, uh, there were additional officers to arrive here in uh, just the last bit of time. Uh, certainly very surreal to be outside your workplace covering something like this and just wondering what this person's intent was and uh, what they were doing here and, and, and what could have happened. And uh, so we'll uh, continue to stay out here. I'm hoping to motion over to the police spokesman.